Hi, this is a short instructional video of how to configure the limits, that means the high-low limits, for the Keithley Model 2700 DMM switch unit. In this video, we're just going to show how to configure the limits, our high, low, or pass, in the Model 2700. Let's just choose resistance. It's fairly simple to use that with. So right now, as you can see, the instrument is reading 100 K ohms. Okay, well let's set up a couple of limits. Very simple. If you were to press the little blue shift button, shift shows up on the display, and you go to the store button, you look above it, it says limits in blue. So if we were to press that, it says high one. So we have four limits. We have high one, low one, high two, low two. We'll go through those in just a second. The high limit, let's set up to 1% higher than 100K, which we know we were measuring. Using the right left arrows, we can go over there. Now I'm going to go all the way over to the right. Do you see the little carrot? Right here, it's blinking. Then I'm going to go up. 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 1K, 10K, 100K. Go back, select. 101, that's 1% 1 high, okay? We press enter, low one, well we'll set that up, we'll go to the, we don't want it to be negative, of course, go up, let's just make that 9, 9, and go over all the way to the carrot, and then up the range. 99k ohms, 1% low, right? Hit enter. Now this is the second set of limits. You don't have to use them, but we'll just set them up. Let's just set these for 10% high and low. So, instead of 2, we'll go to 1.1. 1 .1, and then go all the way over to the carrot again, and up the range. 110K. So that's for the second limit high. Second limit low. Get rid of that. Let's see. We should go up and that would be 9. Just go all the way over to the carrot that does the ranging. 90K. Enter. Okay. Now one of the biggest things that customers forget to do is turn on the limits. So let's do that. Same thing. Press shift. See the little shift come up and the recall button here shows in blue above it on off. That's for limits. Limits are off. We select on, enter, and now they're on. Take a look. What's changed in the display? Still reading 100k ohms but it says it's in. So that means it's passing. Now, I have a decade box resistor connected to this. I can set it up for higher resistance or lower resistance. I'm going to set it to zero. Notice it changed. It went to low. So that says it's a low limit. What if I went up to higher? I'm going to go up to 200K. Or let's just go a little higher there. Oh, look at that. 120K and it went high. That's because the limits were set below that. So that's how you set up the limits here. Fairly simple to do on the model 2700 DMM switch. Now that we configured the limits, let's go to the next video where we would configure the digital outputs that would react with the limits.